I am Rena Daly, and this is CNN Today. A staggering one million Mexican immigrants are received in the United States every year, and only one in every seven illegal immigrants are caught. Mexicans started to migrate to the U.S. during the two world wars. However, after the Second World War, the number of Mexicans started to decrease. It was only in the 1960s when the Mexicans migrating illegally became a problem. California is the state where most illegal immigrants live, and the next state afterwards is Texas. The main reasons Mexicans cross the border is because they believe that they'll get jobs and get better pay than if they were in Mexico. They often end up getting jobs that white Americans refuse to do. Also, the health care and medical facilities are very poor in Mexico compared to the U.S. The adult literacy rates are 55%, which means that there are poor education prospects. This is a push factor. There are impacts on both the U.S. and Mexico. Mexican immigrants benefit the U.S. economy by working for low wages. The illegal migration costs the United States millions of dollars for border patrol and prisons. The Mexican countryside has a shortage of economically active people and the fact that many men immigrate leaves a majority of women unmarried. There are several opinions of Mexicans in the U.S. Most Americans have negative attitudes towards groups who have recently arrived in the United States. More than half of them favor decreasing the number of immigrants. Negative public views on immigration due to levels of unemployment it will cause. Mexicans think that coming to the U.S. will help the U.S.'s economy.